kimchi master Yi Haiyun practices an art of cooking passed down through generations. But now, as kimchi's taste and nutritional fame spread, technology can provide greater quality control. We're making kimchi in the traditional way, just like I learned from my mother. But now, this process of making kimchi requires a lot of labor, so it's being mechanized. And now, we're talking about AI. At the World Institute of Kimchi, artificial intelligence technologists and researchers have used analysis of 270,000 RGB color and hypospectral images to evaluate kimchi through its production, enabling more precise control of a complicated process. With fermentation now so complex, we're trying to find a specific wavelength that's invisible to the eye. We use this to create a model that can predict the quality characteristics of that data. For that, we need artificial intelligence and IoT technologies. AI modeling can evaluate ingredients, saltiness, sweetness, and fermentation and together with related tech, assist large-scale suppliers. Depending on the fermentation period, various types of kimchi are produced, such as sour kimchi and aged kimchi, all different. So we're preparing a patch sensitive to temperature for consumers to choose. South Korea's kimchi exports hit a record 44,000 tons in 2023. Still, some consumers choose to make it on their own, sourcing ingredients and then slicing, mixing and saving their kimchi themselves. Despite the spread of kimchi around the world and the growth in demand, and while artificial intelligence may provide some fine-tuning to quality control, in the end, there's really only one true test in the taste. Frank Smith, TRT World, Namyangju, South Korea.